I mean, look at that. Oh, it's proper oozing, man. Hi guys, how's it going? Hi guys! So today we're off to try some amazing British homemade delicacy <laughs> pies. We're gonna eat pie mash. <laughs> this week it is National Pie Week. Yeah, so Pie Week annually in March. Um, it's around early March that happens. Fantastic time for us to go and eat some pie and mash. For those that want to celebrate Pie Week, all you have to do is quite simple, is just go out, buy some pies <laughs> at your local pie place. Send us pictures of you eating pie. <laughs> yeah, send us pictures on Facebook, let us know how you celebrated Pie Week, and yeah, awesome. Okay, so today we're off to Winchester, we're going to go to a nice little pie place, a local chain. Yeah, it's called Pie Caramba. We found it on TripAdvisor, on Google, it's got amazing reviews. It's got three places, I think, across the UK. They've got one in Brighton, they've got one in Southampton, and we're off to the Winchester one, just so we thought we'd make a day of it, get some nice B-roll shots of the city for you. Yeah, Winchester used to be the capital of England. It has a lot of amazing... Fun fact! <laughs> has a lot of historical um, landmarks. Um, anybody <laughs> who loves Vikings, Saxons, all that stuff right now on Netflix, <laughs> The Last Kingdom. So we're off to the station now. So one of the reasons we chose Pie Caramba was actually because I was googling um, gluten-free foods and restaurants in Hampshire. So Pie Caramba was one of the first to come up though and they've got a huge gluten-free range and vegan range and all different kinds of meats on their menu so it's perfect. Okay so the reason as well why we chose Pie Caramba was because of the amazing five-star reviews that everyone keeps giving it not just on Google or TripAdvisor but Facebook as well it seems to be quite a hot spot for tourists yeah. for the local people and bringing back that love for good old-fashioned British pie and mash which has kind of disappeared in the high street in recent years so it's good that a, a nice local business is bringing homage back to that Pie caramba! Pie caramba! So we just arrived at Winchester. It's nice and sunny and we can't wait to try some lovely delicious pie. Hello, my name is Viren and this is... Roshni. And together we're on a mission to find some of the best local foods, restaurants, cafes, eateries in Sussex and Hampshire all along the English South Coast. So if you like helping the local economy, if you like eating out as much as we do, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us on the journey. Okay guys, so we're off to the Winchester city centre now. So cue some Winchester Cathedral shorts. Oh, and I've got coffee. Winchester Cathedral guys look how awesome it is it's so pretty it's a really great place to come and visit if you're ever in the city um, it's such an old cathedral it's beautiful inside it was the old capital of England I apologize because my hair is absolutely everywhere but it's not my fault it is this wind we're now off to Pie Carumba um, we're a bit early but hopefully they'll let us in because I'm absolutely freezing and I'm hungry okay so we'll see you at the restaurant can't wait said there was over 20 different kinds of pies on the menu so there's a lot of variation yeah you can get a whole pie meal which is a pie 
and mash and with mushy peas for under £10, so it's pretty cool, pretty economical. So you've got different kinds of pies, you've got beef, you've got lamb, pork and game, you've got chicken and you've got veggie and vegan. I think I'm going to go for one of the gluten-free vegan ones. Um, or at least a vegetarian one, because that's just what I fancy right now. And I think Viren said, and by the way, we have studied the menu before we got here. Viren was going to go for, I think, the Wolverine, which is the lamb pie. So that sounds pretty cool. It's really cool inside. There's amazing decor. You'll see from the B-roll shots. Um, I think it used to be a comic book sh shop, but I'm not too sure. I know. Pie Coamba. Okay, so they do this thing called the Pie Scraper Food Challenge, where if you eat the whole thing in under 10 minutes, you get put onto the wall of fame. Um, and that's for just under 20 pounds, so if you're uh, big enough for that, come and do that. Okay guys, so we've devised a review system, review factors for the pies. Similar to previous videos where we did the review system, basically we come up with four factors to review our foods. They're kind of comical, they're a bit of a laugh. But So the first factor to start off with is when you get the pie, you want to see how it looks. So we've created the glam factor. The second one is all about the inside of the pie. When you go and open the pie, it oozes out. So the ooze factor is the second one. The third one is all about the outside how it looks, not looks, sorry, the outside of a pie and the most important part of the outside, of course, is the crust. So the third factor is the crust factor. And the fourth, without this factor, there is no pie. Without this, there essentially is no filling. I've just said it, so the fourth factor is the filling factor. Okay guys, I've got my sweetie pie. It's gluten free, it's vegetarian. So the reason I got it, it just sounds really delicious. It's got sweet potato in it, roasted garlic, and goat's cheese. I love goat's cheese, so I couldn't resist this one. First factor that we're gonna review on is of course our glam factor. It's beautifully presented. It's got a pie with a lovely S on the top. Um, and it's got the lovely mushy peas and the cheesy mash. So I went for the cheesy mash. Okay, so the next factor we're gonna go for is the ooze factor. So here I go, I'm gonna cut it open. Look at that, look at that. So it's not gonna completely ooze out because it is um, goat cheese, which I think binds everything together inside. So not the craziest of ooze, but it's just the nature of this pie, but it still looks amazing inside. Look how hot it is as I've opened it up. So the next factor is the crust factor. So that means I actually have to go ahead and try it now. I'm gonna go for the mushy peas and a bit of mash. It's really hot. <laughs> Really soft crust. Mm. Not too thick, but thick enough that it's holding everything together. It's so nice. So the last factor, the fourth one, is our filling. It's got a really good ratio between the two. So like I said, the crust isn't too thick um, and it's really deep filled. Like there's a lot of filling in there. I can really taste the ghost cheese and the sweet potato. Um, there's roasted garlic in here, which is really coming through as well. And of course, I'm sat on a bed of beautiful mushy peas and lovely mash. When you guys aren't looking, I'm going to smother this in more gravy, um, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, guys, look at my food. Oh my god, it looks amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm salivating. Actually, I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Okay, now I'm back. Um, I had to talk, obviously. 
otherwise you wouldn't be watching and what would be the point of that. Um, so yeah, it's really good, it looks fantastic. We're all on to the pie factors now. So the first one is the glam. It's a, it's a little drag queen of a pie. It's got all sorts of glam and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. It, it's got glam, it's got bling, it's got the blitz. Blitz, present, presentation wise, it's fantastic. Um, the actual pie is called the Wolverine pie. And what makes it really fitting is that it's got a Wolverine, a Wolverine crust at the top. And they've, the attention to detail is crazy. Um, you go to another pie shop and they won't go to this much attention to detail. That looks oh, splattering though. Okay, so the next factor is the ooze factor. And we're just gonna open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Maybe it is a real life Wolverine, who knows? I mean, look at that. Ooh, it's proper oozing, man. I'm loving that. Bits of lamb meat, veg, the filling. It's looking great. I can't wait to tuck in. Okay, guys, so the fourth factor, the most important one, of course, without this, there would be no pie. It's all about the filling, as you can see. I've kind of terrorized this pie, but you know, you get an idea of what's actually inside it. And first of all, it's got the organically reared lamb, which is cooked in this amazing red wine sauce. Looks amazing. Um, second to that, you've got the garlic sauce as well, and it's finished with rosemary and red currant jelly. Okay, so let's try it. Wow. Oh. Really good. Okay, so first of all, the meat is so, so tender. It's delicious, it's slowly cooked, and you can tell it's been baking in that oven with all those juices sieving through the pie. It's really tender, really nice. Okay, so let's look at the crust itself. Just like Roshni's pie, it's, um, it's got nice crust, short crust pastry. It's handmade, it's hand rolled. It's not like the supermarket bought one. You can tell they've put a lot of care and attention into this crust and it tastes fantastic. Really good. It's really nice, it's really delicious. It's got all these amazing meats and seasoning and yeah, and to make sure you have big kahunas and big manliness, you can get this pie. But that doesn't mean me, because I'm actually a hairy fairy. One really cool part about the restaurant is they have video games for you to play, old school retro games, while you go and eat your pie, which is a nice little touch you know, adds more to the eating experience. It also becomes a nice competitive challenge with you and your mates on your next time you go to Pai Caramba. Here yeah, guys, we're done. I've got a mouthful of food. Empty plates. That was awesome. We're absolutely stuffed. Um, this place is cool. The guys were just explaining to us that the three different restaurants have different themes. So this one's like Star Wars-y theme. And then the second one, I think, was in Southampton. Teenage Ninja Mutant Th Turtles theme. Um, and yeah, I think they've got awesome plans for the ones in Brighton as well. So definitely worth a visit if you're ever in Winchester, Southampton or Brighton. Um, come along to these guys, especially if you love pie and mash. It's 100% recommended and we absolutely loved it in there. The pies were amazing and it pays homage to a traditional British classic and there's nothing wrong with eating pie and mash. It's on one of our- On a Sunday afternoon. On a Sunday afternoon. In fact, we yeah. recommend it to everyone <laughs> on a cold winter's day like today. Yeah. There's nothing quite like it. Yeah. It's a very, very nice experience, especially in this lovely historic town of Winchester. So yeah, our aim is to go to small independent businesses, is to help support the local economy. And just like today, we went to Pai Caramba, it's an awesome place and you have awesome experiences in, in, in going to places like this. 
we'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and a big thumbs up. But really sunny at the same time. Yeah, I'm it's windy really confused. Again. <laughs> Sorry, I spoke over you. Goofy, <laughs> goofy, goofy. I don't know what's wrong with him. It's crazy. Goofy, goofy. Winchester, Winchester, Winchester. <laughs> so we're at Winchester Cathedral, guys. Look how awesome it is. It's so pretty. Um, you cut this out, it's fine. It's blooper. Anyway, yeah. guys, I think you heard, but I'm gonna get the Wolverine. <laughs> Hit it one more time. Go. And as Viren mentioned earlier, this was the old capital of England. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God.